Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at rocks and minerals. We're going to cover what minerals are and what rocks are. So firstly, minerals, and here's a definition. Minerals are naturally occurring substance formed through geological processes that has characteristic chemical composition, highly ordered atomic structure and specific physical properties. Uh, so that's quite a mouthful as you can see, uh, but there's a couple of key things there. So it's got a specific chemical composition so you could write it down chemically and it would be the same all the, way, all the way through. Highly ordered atomic structure and this causes the shape that the crystals make when they form and specific physical properties uh, which is very good for classifying minerals uh, but I'll look at that in a later video. So let's have a look at that first bit. The mineral has a specific composition. So here are three minerals we've got, orthoclase, albite and quartz. And you can see that orthoclase has a composition which contains potassium, aluminium, silicon, and oxygen. Okay, at this stage, you guys don't need to know these. You don't need to memorize these. In fact, you don't really even to know, need to know what those letters mean. All you need to know is that there is a specific uh, chemical composition for minerals. Uh, albite, sodium, aluminium, silicon, oxygen, and quartz, silicon, and oxygen. Now, orthoclase is, uh, and albite both come under the class of feldspar, uh, which is a, a big group of minerals, uh, and one's at the potassium end, one's at the sodium end, uh, there's, and there's a whole heap of other feldspars between and around them. Minerals also form crystals that have a specific shape, and this specific shape comes from that specific atomic structure that I mentioned earlier. So orthoclase is monoclinic, albite is triclinic, and quartz is hexagonal. There's seven different uh, systems or shape systems for crystals uh, with seven different uh, shapes that they can form. And pretty much all crystals can fit into those shapes in some way or another. Rocks, on the other hand, do not have a specific chemical composition or a specific shape. They're basically defined by the minerals that are found inside them uh, or the other rock fragments that are found inside them, depending on the type of rock. So, for example, granite is a group of uh, rocks that generally contain orthoclase, quartz and albite. Okay, So those two types of feldspar uh, and quartz. Now, a lot of the granite actually contains biotite, or, which is a form of mica as well. Uh, and this is an igneous rock. And you can see, if you have a look closely, you can actually see the crystals here, which is the lines in those rock. That's the crystals and the lines between the crystals. And these crystals are right up against each other and growing through each other. So basically, if you've got a uh, tub of these different minerals and heated it up so it was really, really hot, like a 1,000 degrees or so, or maybe a couple of thousand degrees, so those rocks melted. Uh, as it cooled, these crystals would form and they'd run into each other like that. Another example of a rock that's made up of other rocks is conglomerate, which is a form of sedimentary rock. And you can see here that this, rather than having different minerals inside it, has actually got different types of rock inside it. So this is a type of rock here, and you can see the speckles, being that it's made up of minerals. This rock's made up of different minerals as well. So these are all different rocks. Now the big thing about sedimentary rocks is that they have these distinct lines through them. So you can see these distinct lines around the rocks uh, and that is because these crystals did not form when they were in this rock. They formed previously when they were in another rock. Uh, so those crystals don't run into each other and have defined edges. In this video we've looked at minerals which have a specific chemical composition, specific properties and a specific shape of their crystals and then we've talked about rocks which are made up of minerals and other rocks and don't have any of those specific things but have some more general rules about them thanks for watching peace out guys